In this video, we're going to continue working with UI collection view and we are going to make it display small size image only or a thumbnail size of our image. And only when user taps on the thumbnail size, we will display a regional size or a preview size of our image. And the reason we are going to make our UI collection view display thumbnail size image only is because imagine you have an album of 300 images or 400 images and if you display if you load and display a regional size of the image that might take a very long time to load and um, it's going to consume a lot of data um, and eventually be a very poor user um, experience so this the collection view should display a smaller size or collect or um, thumbnail size images and we will also make the refresh button uh, here so that if one of the images did not load, user can tap on this refresh button and um, reload the view. And um, if you did not watch um, previous videos, please do that because this is when we, uh, we uh, discuss how to create UI collection view, how to load images into the collection view, and how to create PHP script that will load images. Okay, so let's go ahead and first we will uh, discuss uh, some changes in our PHP script. I have it open here, so I've rearranged it a little bit to uh, combine um, preview size, which is a, a, a re original uh, size image or a physical URL to a different image. Okay, I have rearranged um, my PHP script a little bit. Uh, by adding preview and uh, thumbnail size image into a separate collection which is called image entry. So each image entry will contain URL to a preview size image and URL to a thumbnail size image. And these are physically two different files. Thumbnail size is a smaller image and the preview size is much larger image. So each entry each image entry will contain two URLs. So, and the way I do it is create um, two arrays, image entry array and images array. And then I uh, populate image entry uh, PHP array with two URLs, preview and thumb. And then I put entire PHP array inside of images array. And eventually I will uh, print out JSON encoded version of this um, PHP array. So if I look at the JSON document, it's going to look this way. I'll have a JSON array and each JSON array um, and, and each entry will be a JSON document with uh, two keys inside, preview key and thumbnail key. And um, each key will hold a URL to physically different file. One is a large size and another is a smaller size. And now let's go back to our Xcode project. And the first change that we will make is to our um, images. It's no longer going to be an array of strings. It's going to be uh, an array of a nest dictionary. So I'll simply remove this uh, part. And uh, now um, we will um, rename image string to uh, image holder because it's going to be uh, a dictionary now. And I will cast it to um, uh, a string and any object. Uh, okay. And now we will declare a new variable here and we will call it image thumb string, which is going to hold uh, a URL to uh, a smaller size image with the key thumb and it's going to be a string. And uh, our URL is now going to be not image string, but image sump string or thumbnail string. And this is all we need to change for this function, cell for index for item at index path. Another change that we will need to make, and actually let's copy this couple of lines of code from here, is in did select item at index path. And I'll paste uh, the two lines of code here. So just um, same step, we will, um, we will um, get the um, dictionary for selected uh, image. 
and that's going to be image holder but uh, now from image holder we need to get a preview size of the image and we will rename it image preview strain and this strain we will pass to our um, image view controller so that uh, image view controller will now display an original size or preview size so uh, this is it that uh, this is all we need to change in our view controller so let's run this example and see how it works Oh, it uh, crashed and yes because uh, we are not loading an array of strings anymore we are loading an array of uh, NS dictionaries so I need to remove this casting let's run it again oh, this time it worked so um, we've loaded uh, images and if I click on it I get uh, a preview size, a larger size of the image, uh, which works very well. So now let's put a refresh button in the top right corner. And for that, I will uh, stop this application and I will go to uh, main storyboard and I will open right side panel and uh, I will select the view controller. And in my objects library, I will look for item. We're looking for bar button item. So I'll take this button and drag it here. Then I will select the button. And from the style, uh, I mean uh, identifier, I will choose a refresh. Okay, now it, it is a refresh button. Now I will hide my uh, left side panel, select view controller and open it in assistant editor. And uh, if your view controller did not uh, get selected automatically, we can go and uh, change it here. So now a correct view controller is selected. I'll scroll down and I will uh, click on the button. Hold control button, click, drag and drop it here. And I'll create a connection type action with the name refresh button top. enter so now when a refresh button is stopped this function will be called and we can load images our images are loaded uh, in a load images function so I will copy and paste it here okay so this should work and before we uh, run and test this application let's also add uh, an activity indicator so I will also actually make this uh, background of of my um, collection view white because uh, the background in our um, next view controller is white so we'll make them look the same so I'll select collection view and then I will scroll down to a background and change it from default to uh, white uh, okay and I will look for uh, activity indicator here it is. So I'll take it, drag and drop it into my collection view. Okay, now I have my activity indicator. And um, for me to be able to um, uh, work with it, to make it uh, animating or stop animating, I need to create an outlet for it. So I will uh, hide my right side panel for a moment and I will open up the document outline so i can make sure that my activity indicator is selected i'll select it here hold control button on my keyboard click drag and drop connector here and that will be connection type outlet and i'll give it a call and name my activity indicator indicator okay now when i have activity indicator i can make it animating um, and I will do it actually inside of the load image function. So as soon as this function is called, I will make my activity indicator 
first of all visible if it's hidden so I will set hidden to I mean false set hidden to false and then my activity indicator I call start animating and that should trigger and that should make it uh, animating what's going on yeah everything's okay and uh, as soon as HTTP request completes and my application receives uh, data I mean, when this uh, completion handler triggers I want to uh, I'll just copy it I want to make my activity indicator um, not visible so I will uh, set hidden to true and I will also stop it from animating stop animating like this um, and because um, our completion handler uh, is uh, executed in background I will need to call this code inside of the I will need to call it on the main queue if I want to communicate from a background task uh, with my UI I will need to put this code inside of the dispatch async on the main queue okay so that should uh, work so let's um, build it and uh, run this application to see how it works okay so uh, background is white it's working if I tap on the refresh button I see my activity indicator for a moment and it hides as soon as HTTP request completes and if I click on the image it's also working and the requested uh, and images are loading pretty fast so um, we are done with this uh, video and I hope this example is very helpful to you